All right, in this lesson right here, what we're going to be doing is using physics volumes for setting up some, well, let's just say some interesting gravity effects. In other words, at this point, we can play God. We can control the way that gravity is going to act. Is it going to pull down? Is it going to push you up? Is it going to slam you from side to side? And we can do this, of course, all through physics volumes. Now, for starting out, Logan, let's go ahead and show them the teleporter that you've got in there. And then uh, let's take advantage of it at the moment. So right there, and the object of this teleporter is to teleport you to all the way over to the other side. There you go, way up there, which is going to then make you fall way down there, hitting the ground and not being too happy about it. So let's go ahead and jump into level real quick and test this out. And then we'll see if we can start doing some interesting things with the lower area that you're going to fall down into. So under normal conditions, let's review what happens after you fall a couple stories. <laughs> Teleport. All right, we're definitely falling. So you got that faster, down. Faster, faster, and... <laughs> okay, well, that kind of didn't feel so good. And as you can tell, that's pretty much what would happen in the real world after falling about ten stories. So let's go ahead and jump out of this and back into Unreal Ed. Now, let's go ahead and set up a physics volume down there and see if we can first make the character just lightly float down. But not by really changing gravity, but changing the terminal velocity. We'll do that first. Okay, so what I'll do with this cube now is let me adjust it to 1024 so it fits that area. And then snap it up and line it with the room. Maybe something about... There. That looks good. So right-click on physics volume, and, or right-click on the volume button, add a physics volume. Move the builder out of the way, and there's our physics volume. The first thing I want to do is take a look at some properties under physics volume. Now, since we couldn't really tweak gravity in this case because we're already going to be moving fast. Once we're up here, we're still probably going to be going so fast that we would die upon hitting. So even if we turn the gravity to zero, you're still just going to fly through that doing like way too fast. We have a different property, which is a, it's kind of interesting, terminal velocity. What's the fastest that we can be moving as we're moving through the air? Let's lower this all the way down to 500 and see what happens. So we're going to be getting about one-fifth the speed, basically, that you're allowed to normally fall. We'll be doing about one-fifth of that. Exactly. Which means you should just about almost float down and land gently. And what's kind of cool about that is it's not exactly the same effect as low gravity. Things can are still move very fast. Right, as a matter just, of fact, before you even take yeah. the teleporter, run over there and jump up and down. That probably won't be too noticeable. Well, I mean, no, it won't be noticeable at all. But yeah, Because you haven't reached your terminal velocity yet. So this definitely isn't a low grab area. Right. Uh, yeah, that's what I wanted to show. Now, when we go over here and use the teleporter, though, watch what happens. So far, not looking too good, but... Fast, 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 woo! And then we hit... Click. Apparently, that was our terminal velocity. We could not go faster than that. So we got a very soft landing. Now, another thing to point out about this is there is no transition. The moment you enter this volume, your terminal velocity just snaps to 500. Meaning, if you wanted to make a landing pad for, like, an across-the-level jump pad, you could always take, like, a, uh, a volume that's only 32 or 64 units high as your landing pad. Give it a terminal velocity of 500, and you could just land on that, and off you go. <laughs> and that way, even if you jump or translocate up, as you're falling above it, nothing would be uh, changed. It would just make for a softer landing. Okay. So now that we've looked at that, let's go ahead and see what happens when we start playing around with some gravity. So leaving the terminal velocity at 500, at least for the time being, we can go into... Maybe we'll look at Actually, the gravity and friction. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So now I want to say we take this area. What if we had uh, like uh, some ice that we wanted our player to slip across? Well, we could take the ground friction, maybe all the way down to point 0.1. That will be very slippery, melting ice. And while we're at it, let's make this a low grav zone. So instead of 950, let's make it 250, so definitely a noticeable effect. So there is still gravity, it's just not pulling down on you quite as hard. Exactly. So this way, if you wanted to make uh, like the interior of a space station, that was normal gravity. But once you get outside or on top of the space station, you could have that area by itself be low gravity. And with very slick form. So let's walk over there now. Now make sure you tell them when you're... All right, so right now, I'm so forward, let go of the button. Backward, let go of the button. Pulling forward, let go. Well, uh, I'm still kind of sliding. Bonk. And we can tell it because forward, and I can slowly turn my view, and I continue sliding. So I can basically skate around within this area. Now if I jump, yeah. yep, definitely less gravity. Or if I shoot a grenade, it will bounce a lot slower. Or it'll just not or bounce up a lot So higher. definitely a low grab situation. Exactly. So now, try tweaking a few other things. Maybe get kind of a few more humorous effects. How about what happens if we um, perhaps let's go and put our gravity back, or not not gravity, uh, our ground fric friction back up maybe to eight, and just so that's pretty much normal. Now, what happens if uh, 
let's take our gravity and let's accelerate ourselves. So in other words, as opposed to you know the negative 950, which is default. Which is default. What if we took it up to 9,500? Yeah, negative 9,500. So now we're going to be falling down, and let's go and set our terminal velocity back up in this area as well. As a matter of fact, let's crank it up. Let's way crank up. it way up, yeah. So 50,000, meaning terminal velocity at this point pretty much isn't going to hinder this. Now, this isn't necessarily a good thing to do. Allow your character to get moving at extreme speeds. Extreme then, speeds can do really weird things. Because if you die and now your ragdoll is moving at a very extreme speed, it can actually manage to like get through the floor or parts of it can start to like uh, fall through the floor. <laughs> Which looks kind of funny sometimes. But for the timing, that way it won't get in the way and now our gravity is significantly higher. So now when we fall or use the teleporter... Uh, teleport up to the top, start to fall. As soon as we hit that area, we should be pancaked straight into the ground. As a matter of fact, we could probably even make that e like ten times the effect, because this will be a little bit noticeable. Yeah. But then to really see yourself snap once you hit the volume, this might also point out the whole ragdoll thing. <laughs> and you can see our ragdoll didn't even really bounce or anything. It's just like, wham! Yeah, okay, stuck there. There is no time to bounce. We are splatted. Go ahead and do it one more time. Stay away from the static mesh down there. Or hit it. <coughs> so right. hits I'll do it one more time, but... All right, you can do it on the other side where it's... Yeah. <coughs> okay, that's... We're being mean, but that's a lot of fun. We can also change our direction as well if we'd like. In other words, um, have it launch... Well, as you had set up in the intro, have them launch all the way across the uh, the level. So, in other words, take Z and set it to zero, perhaps. So, yeah. Or maybe even just a little, a little bit, bit up. It's so about Make 250 mm -hmm. up. So once we hit it, we get cushioning, and then, like, okay. they're trying to shoot us back up. And then we'll take X, maybe all the way up to... Now, we're going to be moving very fast, so to get a noticeable effect, we might even up that to, like, a million. Okay. Like such. So as far as projectiles are concerned, we'll almost get, like, a wall of gravity effect. And with a high terminal velocity, well, let's just see what it does. So as we're falling, we'll just fall at a normal speed, but we can accelerate past that speed once we get into the air or the volume with much higher terminal velocity. And gravity picked us back up. We might it's might be a little bit hard to see the um, the effect. I think we have the uh, the z gravity a bit too high. Oh no! Here's what it is. Going the other way. We're getting pushed into that wall. Yep. No, everything gets stuck directly to it. So let's reverse the x gravity. Here's no, here's a good way. Don't do that yet. Go ahead and. Uh See if you can, well, go in suicide and come back in the level on the other side. And watch this. This will be interesting. All right, now walk in there. And as soon as he gets over there, watch when he goes in. It's not gonna, there's not going to be any effect. He can still walk around. Well, actually, picks, yeah, yeah, actually, there is a little bit of an effect because negative he is gravity zone. pushing up. But as soon as he started to lift up, he also ran straight into the wall very abruptly. Yeah, if Z was set to zero, you would not have seen any effect until you jumped. So as a matter of fact, just so we can walk around... But it's a low grab, but we do have um, negative gravity now, so we'll stick to the floor instead. So now if we go back to, say we have negative 1 million X. Yeah, so now we're pushing out the other way. And I'll test the gravity first this time by trying to fire a grenade into yeah. it from over here. And yeah, yeah, grenade came bouncing back pretty fast. Ching! So, yeah, it's uh, definitely a wall of gravity now. So now let's see what happens when we fall through it. So you can create some really interesting effects with this. So if I walk into it now, nothing and happens. Jump. <laughs> now I get thrown out. Sweet. So it's like kind of virtual jump pad area. So the moment I fire a grenade, it just kind of takes off to the side. Like such. Okay, cool. All right, so that's working with uh, gravity and also with terminal velocity as well. So that's pretty much all we wanted to show in this lesson here. So that's going to wrap it up. Thanks.